2018 Ford Mustang Review. The good points of Ford Mustang. Decent value. Straight line performance. American image. V8 muscle. The bad points of Ford Mustang. Feels bulky on UK roads. Handling lacks finesse. Patchy interior quality. V8 thirst. It's rare the name of an car transcends beyond automotive enthusiasts into popular culture, even so the Ford Mustang is but one such vehicle. You can thank decades of cameos and Hollywood films for the Somewhat ironic then that it's taken Ford 50 years because the original Stang made its stateside debut to have a serious effort to import them here, plus right-hand drive. Yes, there are many older Mustangs I'll watch from the UK, almost all of them privately imported, although Ford stood a half-hearted official channel in the late 1970s and early 1980s. This time it's the real deal. Ford sells the Mustang in two guises, the Fastback, Watch Coupe, reviewed here, and also a convertible. Mustangs are physically large compared to their European and Japanese rivals such as Audi A5 Coupe, BMW 4 Series Coupe, Infiniti Q60, Lexus RC and Mercedes-Benz Class Coupe, even so the packaging is poor, causing a cramped cabin and also an not especially commodious boot. But to match it directly with those models seems a bit unfair, because the Mustang draws a different type of car buyer. It's an entertaining, light-hearted and characterful car, meaning vehicles including the BMW M2, Mercedes AMG of 45 and Audi RS3 Sportback will come with into the equation. American image, engineered for Europe. Mustangs coming here feature some European-specific engineering modifications to be go, stop and turn much better than their predecessors. America turns into a wider array of power plants, but here there is certainly just a set of engines to pick from, the two main 3-liter four-cylinder turbocharged EcoBoost with 317 horsepower, exactly like the unit designed for the Focus RS and also a 5.0-liter V8 with 416 horsepower on tap. Clearly Mose is the more cost-effective of the pairing, with promised economy nudging 35.3 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions and affordable 179 GKM. But who buys a muscle car for economy and efficiency? Turns out hardly any people using the around two-thirds of Mustangs ordered while using larger engine. In performance terms, the 2.3 EcoBoost manages the 062 mph sprint in 5.8 seconds, its brawnier sibling in 4.8. A six-speed manual gearbox, using a meaty throw, may be the more popular transmission, however the six-speed auto feels aligned while using car's American ethos. Facelift in 2018. Ford updated the Mustang in 2018, nevertheless, you wouldn't necessarily notice on first inspection. There's a whole new front bumper, a bonnet featuring some menacing looking vents and new LED headlights, but it really is beneath the skin the location where the bigger changes are already applied. There's an energy increase to 450 horsepower for the V8 version. A 10-speed automatic gearbox replaces that old 6-speed, and you could now specify some highly impressive optional magnetic adaptive suspension. This also provides for two new drive modes, drag which softens the trunk suspension for the best possible launch and my mode, allowing the driver to configure a setup for your car for his or her own requirements. Normal, sport, track and snow wet mode stay the same. Ford in addition has used the facelift because the opportunity to install driver assistance technology, 
The Mustang now featuring active lane departure assist as well as adaptive cruise control and pre-collision benefit pedestrian detection. Inside, a 12-inch instrument display sits behind the tire and can change its color theme in line with the drive mode you decide on. If you are worried that it's still not affordable to run, Ford has announced a hybrid version from the Mustang will probably be introduced in 2020. Small selection of Mustangs available. It's very on Ford like, though the Mustang Fastback will come in just two regular trim levels, every is specific towards the engine. Both provide a high a higher level kit, though, so no matter what Mustang you go searching for you'll enjoy 19-inch alloy wheels, automatic Xenon headlamps, dual-zone climate control and Ford Sync 3 multimedia system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay the quicker Sync 2 system was fitted until 2016. For those attempting to behave like a hooligan the V8 would be the only choice, though. Here you'll obtain the line lock and launch control systems which allow you to perform burnouts easily and accelerate as fast as possible from a standstill. Each one includes selectable driving modes, a restricted slip differential and also a selectable effort power steering system that varies the weighting but doesn't improve the feel from the wheel. The Verdict On paper, the Ford Mustang Fastback is outclassed by its well-versed German and Japanese rivals in nearly all regard, it lacks cabin space, it feels cheaper inside also it's woefully inefficient compared to them. About the only thing seems like to have choosing it is simply how much performance you obtain for your pound. Yet the pony car is higher than the sum of its parts. It oozes charm and brash charisma, it will make kids point and mouth wow, and although it's dynamically beaten with the opposition over a winding broad, you'll go out at your journey's end with the enormous grin on the face. Only a set of two powerful petrols available. 2.3 Echo Boost shared with all the Focus RS. If you really can't afford to fuel it, go for your V8. It doesn't really matter which model you obtain, the performance served up with the Ford Mustang Fastback is impressive no matter if you choose the 2.3-liter 4-cylinder Echo Boost engine or 5.0-liter V8. Each European Mustang comes having a standard performance pack with upgraded brakes for piston calipers up front as well as a revised cooling system developed for high-speed driving. You'll also find onboard selectable driving modes comprising of normal, sport automatics only, sport plus, track and snow wet settings. Track apps, controlled from the leader and displayed between your main instruments, provide an accelerometer timer and also a braking performance monitor. Ford Mustang 2.3 liter Echo Boost performance. A version with this four-cylinder engine appears from the riotous Ford Focus RS, and here develops a substantial 317 horsepower and 434 newton meters of torque. Impressive figures, in writing at least with all the peak power figure produced at 5,500 revolutions per minute plus the torque just 3,000 revolutions per minute. It tends to make relatively lazy performance, and also the manual gearbox 2.3-liter Mustang can accelerate from 062 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds as well as on to a premier speed of 145 miles per hour the automatic reaches a similar limit but Ford doesn't quote a 062 miles per hour time because of it. It doesn't particularly relish being revved though, without change in its general lethargy while you're near the red line, nor will there be much oral or physical reward for working it problematical. And there's no getting away on the four-cylinder soundtrack, the fastback's noise cancelling technology isn't able to overlay the motor's rasp and turbocharged intake whistle via its synthesized system. Curiously it sounds considerably more appealing from the Focus RS. Braunier 5.0 liter V8 Naturally, 
the V8's faster than its four-cylinder sibling because of its 416 horsepower developed at 6,500 revolutions per minute and peak torque of 524 newton meters at 4,250 revolutions per minute. Those figures don't tell the genuine story though, as wherever you are inside the rev range there's ample urgency on demand plus the V8 feels perfectly flexible in day-to-day -day life. Both manual and automatic V8s can reach a high speed of 155 miles per hour, but while, again, 4 doesn't quota of 62 miles per hour time with the self shifter, the manual dispatches the benchmark sprint test in 4.6 seconds and yes it sounds great while it's carrying it out. It's it's not all rosy inside the V8 garden, though. Truth is the fact bumbling around at urban speeds, the 5.0-liter lump doesn't sound especially captivating. That familiar rumbles there, but it release from the background, muted before you rev the engine higher, then no less than your ears aren't disappointed. It doesn't hold the metallic, hard-edged back note seen in something like a Mercedes AMG C63. Nevertheless the thunder from your exhaust pipes is obviously very muscle car. Pity it cooled become a bit louder all from the time. Those Mustang V8 party pieces. There are a few of tricks within the V8 sleeve the 23 liter Mustang's not aware of. The line lock and launch control systems. The former is made for warm in your tires, Brel Anch and is also derived from an aftermarket kit often seen on American drag racers. Find a totally flat bit of private ground the authorities have a dim view in this on public highways, activate line lock through the controls buttons, pressurize the brakes to lock leading wheels solid for 15 seconds, engage a forward gear and stamp within the throttle. The result. You'll perform the smokiest burnout you'll ever see torturing your rear tires inside the process. Release the device and you'll roll forward still smoking your rear rubber. Essentially pointless for normal road driving, but gloriously cool consequently. Launch control is much more familiar, permitting you to pre-select a holding spot inside rev cover anything from 3000 and 4500 revolutions per minute before you decide to dump the clutch in first gear and accelerate off to your horizon leaving a trail of tire marks behind you since your tires spin down the tarmac. It's pure hooliganism, and although most Mustang people are unlikely to seek out it genuinely useful, it's fun nonetheless. At least unless you need to pay for a whole new set of rear tires. Manual and automatic gearboxes. At launch, both gearboxes were 6-speed, and those that want to get more engrossed inside the Mustang experience were more likely to favor the manual. It has a pleasant enough, if weighty, shift which fits the car. It's not essentially the most precise gate though. Also it's not much of a gearbox that loves to be hurried. The automatic's more of any mixed bag. During gentle driving it's perfectly good at slipping effortless between ratios, but press on plus it can't make its mind up, often electing to down changed mid-corner and delivering an outburst of torque to the back wheels just whenever you don't are interested. At least you may counter this while using steering wheel paddles. More power and 10 speed automatic gearbox on 2018 facelift. When the Mustang was updated in 2018, the V8 got an energy hike to 450 horsepower with 529 newton meters of torque, as well as a new 10 speed automatic gearbox was introduced. The former combined using the latter results in a 062 miles per hour sprint in 4.3 seconds. With the manual gearbox, a similar dash takes 4.6 seconds. The V8 hike in performance has were built with a positive effect about the noise the Mustang makes, too. Its exhaust sounds more aggressive than previously, 
which can be presumably why Ford's engineers have developed a quiet neighbor mode that quietens things down for morning hours starts. We found the 10-speed gearbox to be described as a big improvement on the previous 6-speed. It's far quicker to alter gears, yet doesn't seem as overactive when you may expect when driven enthusiastically. In normal drive mode it's an even and hassle-free experience, while selecting sport livens the complete experience with lightning quick shifts. It's at its best aided by the paddles about the back with the steering wheel, though Perform wish these felt of an better quality. Ford has added a rev matching function for the 6-speed manual gearbox too, which automatically blips the throttle on down changes to fit the engine's speed while using wheels keeping the vehicle stable under braking. The cars we drove about the launch event in France didn't have this installed, though, so we'll ought to wait to utilize it from the UK to determine what it's like. Mustang has surprisingly agility. Magnetic suspension on post-facelift cars absolutely essential. You're never unacquainted with its girth. Whichever Ford Mustang fastback you decide on, it'll weigh in at a minimum of 1,600 kilograms, and there's without doubt in your mind as soon since you move off this car is something of any heavy weight, you are able to feel it within the meaty controls. On tighter British roads there's no escaping this car's girth either, also it always seems like a large car. It is about exactly the same size for the road as a considerable European executive saloon. But, unlike previous generations with the Mustang that had been essentially created to solely serve North American audiences, this car isn't simply designed for straight line speed, it corners much better than you'd expect to. There's many drive modes out there, and what Ford calls a selectable effort electric power steering system. This lets you alter the weighting from comfort through normal and into sport. The latter simply adds weight, the previous makes it too light and, although not perfect, the middle ground normal would be the most pleasing in the lot. There's certainly a quarrel to suggest your vehicle doesn't need the computer at all, but we suspect that it wouldn't please the marketing department. Not by far the most engaging of sports cars. It takes longer to feel confident pressing on through corners within the Mustang laptop or computer doesn't say a 4 series or class coupe. You know the grips there, even though rear end is vulnerable to twitching mid corner if you're not smooth with the throttle application, even so the Mustang feels softer and wallowier than its Germanic rivals, therefore, the communication between tires and driver is fuzzier and fewer engaging. Once you've taken command in this and learned to own more faith inside Ford's agility, it is more fun, albeit in an unconventional sense. With that high bond line and also the fast back width, it might feel just like you're hauling a low slung SUV by using a series of corners. Both engine options come while using same suspension system. Nevertheless the V8 features the superior monotub dampers to get a faster response. In comparison, the EcoBoost engine Mustang can think that it's struggling for composure on undulating broads. Allcome which has a standard limited slip differential LSD so individuals who want to play at hooliganism around the racetrack can slide the trunk end from the Mustang with their heart's content. For those less clear on their abilities a thrustage electronic stability control escape enable you to rein things in. Ford Mustang 2018 on handling We were astonished at the improvement we felt when first sampling the post-facelift 2018 Ford Mustang's handling. There are a few reasons behind this, the cars we drove were on 1,600 pounds magnetic suspension. Plus the wheels were shot in sticky Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires. These two features equate with a far better drive. We found the weighty Mustang cornered far flatter, your body control is vastly improved since the suspension has the ability to adapt 1000 times per second to absorb bumps almost instantaneously. 
It really is a remarkable setup, plus our mind worth every bit on the premium. The tires play a part too, because nearly they make for fantastic grip within the dry, at the least, we've not tried them inside the wet but we noticed extra feel through the tire, meaning extra driver confidence, along with a more progressive body reaction on initial turn-in. We suspect that last is as the sidewalls flex slightly less compared to the Pirelli rubber on preface lift cars. And one other advantage with this suspension is the fact it's adaptive, meaning Ford chassis engineers have already been able to configure drive modes geared for comfort and for sportier driving. There's even one for drag racing, which softens at the back to allow the automobile to squat on the back wheels for better traction. Quite the amount of people will use this within the road within the UK remains to wear, nevertheless it would be an extraordinary way to pull off from your toll booth about the M25. Familiar Mustang styling cues inside, too. Sensible layout for your majority of controls. Pity that higher grade plastics aren't used. Once you've slipped in the Ford Mustang Fastback's driver's seat, you're immediately presented by having an ensemble of American muscle car hallmarks, the high set dashboard, the wide transmission tunnel as well as the detailing that's slightly clumsy. But notwithstanding that last point it, it boasts a reputable, typically Ford, blue color charm, the identical appeal that permeates over the driving experience and causes you to appreciate this car for what it really is. It's far away from expensive feeling or luxurious, and those on the quest for squidgy soft touch plastics will must search elsewhere. In fact, you're more prone to encounter scratchy, hard moldings first. The center console would be the least pleasing aspect from the Mustang's cozy interior, having a mixture of materials that don't sit particularly well together. Knurled Fox Metal for that climate control knobs. A modern day touchscreen to the multimedia system, yet more plastimital for your toggle switches. It all looks built into a price. Which it can be, naturally. Ford Mustang now right hand drive. Those toggle switches aren't actually switches in any way, they're buttons. They only be employed in one direction, not two and they must be pulled up as opposed to pushed down, which feels counterintuitive. Seems Ford is fearful of clumsy drivers accidentally knocking them down because they place products in their vicinity. At least cycling over the drive modes, using said not toggle buttons, is simple enough and also the dedicated switch the signal from release the various degrees of stability control involvement is often a nice touch. It won't require long to know the switch gear locations and everything's unambiguously labeled, for example the tongue-cheek ground speed script about the speedometer. Ford Mustang tailored for UK tastes. Getting comfortable behind the wheel is simple enough, with plenty adjustment within the seats and leader, and you seem like you sit low within the car, but that is in part as the dashboard and bonnet line are comparatively high. Unlike inside convertible, you are able to specify excellent Recaro bucket seats within the fastback coupe, with sustained support as opposed to standard items. Facelift in 2018 The Mustang's update in 2018 ushered in a different 12.0-inch instrument cluster behind the controls which changes color when you choose various drive modes and also a smattering more soft-touch materials within the cabin to include a bit of premium to proceedings. A different engine start button also features, while new optional extras add a carbon pack instrument panel surrounding gear knob within the black woven material plus Alcantara door cards and seat inserts, back for leather seats and heating to the steering wheel. Long journeys can be devoured in comfort. Lack of rear seat room is usually a weakness. Or will experience better using the V8. Since its American market debut in 2014, 
Ford improved contentment levels in the Mustang fastback before European sales commenced the next year. Key on the changes became a suite of tweaks for the suspension setup, inside a bid to boost reduced body roll and firm inside the damping. It's worked to your degree, although Ford still feels softer, and comfier, than its dramatic opposition. Deeper ruts still catch out the back axle, the wheels crashing over potholes, but overall it rides well. We haven't any hesitation in undertaking a long journey in a single. It's quiet too, which isn't something every would-be Mustang fastback buyer would like to watch. The V8 cruises having a subdued rumble, only roaring in the event the revs rise closer towards the red line. By contrast, the sound from your Echo Boost isn't especially pleasing whatsoever. Whether you stick using the standard seats, add the optional climate controlled items or splash out for the sporty Recaro buckets, are all perfectly comfortable having a good variety of adjustment. It's the Recars that offer essentially the most support when driving quickly, needless to say. Those from the back is going to be less enthused with the Mustang Fastback, its sloping roofline robs those from the back of meaningful headroom and there's precious little space for lower limbs behind a taller driver. Think of it more of any 2 plus 2 compared to a genuine 4-seater such as competition. Post-facelift 2018 Ford Mustang the biggest change for 2018 could be the magnetic suspension you are able to now order, which can be able to make the Mustang considerably more comfortable than before because bumps within the road will be more successfully absorbed along with the body is trapped in better check when driven quickly. It's not soft, though, the Mustang is an unashamed performance vehicle. Just one standard degree of trim but it can be well stocked with kit. Consider the custom pack bundle. Ford's famed for having complex ranges and multitudes of trim levels, but not while using Mustang Fastback, the engine you end up picking effectively would be the trim level. Standard Ford Mustang Fastback Equipment As standard the two main .3 liter EcoBoost Mustang incorporates Black, 19-inch 5 bespoke alloy wheels. Selectable driving modes. Automatic Xenon headlamps. Automatic wipers. Electrically folding door mirrors with Mustang logo puddle lights. 3.8-inch color touchscreen for multimedia system. DAB radio. Dual zone climate control. Move as much as 5.0 liter V8 plus the differences in the evening engine change are scant. Uprated braking mechanism. Line lock. Launch control. 19 inch multi spoke alloy wheels. A specific GT grille with vertical bars towards its outer edges. Following the facelift in 2018. Buyers could expect 12 inch digital instrument cluster, LED headlights, adaptive cruise control, active landkeeping assist, two extra drive modes drag and my mode, redesigned bonnet and front bumper, extra soft touch materials inside cabin. Ford Mustang Fastback, optional extras. There's not an enormous choice of options with the Mustang to personalize it for a tastes, but keeping it simple is often a sensible approach to go anyway. On top on the standard paint hues it is possible to choose metallic and Ford's exclusive colors, plus you'll be able to also possess a choice of two other colors to the leather in addition on the standard black. Nose to tail body stripes, a contrast black roof panel and different alloy wheel designs are also offered. Climate controlled seats are an alternative, as will be the upgraded Shaker Pro head unit with SYNC 3. 
We'd particularly recommend going with the custom pack bundle which comprises in the Shaker Pro Kit, climate controlled seats, rear parking sensors and chrome highlights for that side windows. Post facelift cars can be found with magnetic adaptive suspension called Magnaride and three new body colors. Poor crash test score from Euro and Cap. Lack of crash prevention kit a flaw. Pair of ice fix child seat mounts in rear. In an occasion when most new cars receive 4 and 5 star ratings from Euro and Cap, the Tostar score to the Ford Mustang Fastback raises serious questions about your vehicle's safety. Indeed, the scores for child occupancy were worryingly low. Ford has indicated that orders placed from May 2017 get an upgraded package of safety features if the cars are delivered later within the year. These measures include pedestrian detection and forward collision warnings, autonomous emergency braking and also a landkeeping aid. This is on top with the Alwachi standard airbags, electronic stability systems and powerful braking setup. How the revised car stacks up will hopefully function as the subject of your second round of your own cap in the end. On the facelift in 2018 Ford introduced adaptive cruise control to supplement the above mentioned additions. How many ice fix points does the Ford Mustang Fastback have? Assuming you are able to contort yourself in that manner concerning install child seats in the scalloped out set of berths inside back from the Mustang, you'll discover an ice fix mounting point on either side in the car as suited as standard. It's clear in the outset that practicality wasn't for the forefront in the Ford Mustang fastback designers' minds when the auto was in conception. Not a huge surprise, it's, of course, a muscle car not just a family hack. So, expect the corner seats to become out of bounds for everyone but agile, young kids, such could be the lack of head and legroom back there. There's ample storage area up front, though, which has a generous lidded cubby from the rear on the transmission tunnel and door bins for almost any odds and sods. Regrettably, the space on the front and the transmission tunnel, within the toggle buttons, isn't quite sufficient to successfully accept a typical smartphone. Being an American car, the set of cup holders behind the apparatus lever will likely be more than big enough for your largest of drive through buckets. Although many times the nose with the Mustang peeking outside of parking spaces, it's the Ford's width which causes more problems in Britain. Most parking bays are barely wider than the automobile and with just a single long door on either side in the car they might need a decent amount of space to open up. If you must carry luggage with any regularity then unless they're particularly tall items the fastback copes well as a result of its 408 liter boot space.